So this is the jasminebrand.com and I'm here with the real side chicks of Charlotte. How are you ladies doing today? Hi. Hi. So excited to meet you. Can each of you go around and tell me your name? Maybe start here. Jaleesa. Okay. I am Storm. I'm Lynette. I'm Bricks. I'm Shador. I'm Nisha. Tiffany Nicole. Okay, nice to meet you ladies. Now, how did this whole concept or the idea for the show start? Well, the idea for the show all started with a song, um, Side Chick by Mr. 704. Mm -hmm. And um, they just kind of did a little video just to kind of promote the song and a director from here seen it and it took off. Okay, what was the, how did you all get involved? How was the, how did the casting process sort of happen? They just kind of put the casting out there on social media and um, about, um, they had two castings actually. The first one, about 50 girls showed up. The second one, I'm not sure how it went, but the director chose um, all the cast members. Okay, so if I'm going to the casting, what happens? Like they, they ask you questions or yeah. the, like, okay, give me yeah, some actually, examples. They, just ask <laughs> they asked questions. us, like, if you were in, if what happens if you were in second place and you passed the person in first place? Like, just weird questions like okay. that. <laughs> like, personality <laughs> test type questions. Uh -huh. and some things to kind of see who's smart and who's not. So they asked smart. us what the capital of Raleigh. Raleigh was, and I was so confused. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, had, I was like, what? I'm so confused. So when you all when you all went to the audition, um, did you know for sure? Did you feel like, oh, I, I really did good, or maybe not so good? Or No, I really felt like I just messed up through the whole audition, yeah, but it was like, too. by this time, you got to just keep it pushing. Right. <laughs> I felt like my interview was really short, like everyone else was in there a long time, uh -huh. and I was like in and out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was quick. Did um did you all feel like, you know it's a it's a casting so it's a bunch of women. Did you all all feel insecure at all or like who is no, 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 no. no okay <laughs> y'all real confident <laughs> okay okay it's just the fact that you didn't know exactly what they was looking for right, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, okay so, okay yeah. I, I get that so are each of you side chicks yes, yes. okay <laughs> so somebody tell me what a side chick a side chick is. Go ahead, Lynette. Oh, well. <laughs> She's the okay. <laughs> a side chick is the fun girl. We are the um, the gift to your man when he's ready to get away from you because you're giving him a headache. So he comes here, and we have a good time, and I show him a good time, and he shows me a good time in return. <laughs> okay. Um, what, so um, what uh, each of you, are you, I, it's not, it feels so weird asking this. So are each of you in, like, relationships now where you're a side chick? I am currently. Okay. What about everybody else? I'm going to find out on the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone's situation is different. Yeah. Okay. What, um, I guess, what are the, well, I feel like you kind of explain what the advantages of are, are of a side yeah, chick. Yeah, the, the advantages is you don't have the headache. You already know where he is and you already know what's going on in his life so it's a, it's an open relationship so it's kind of like we're best friends like we can talk to each other about everything because you know for a fact he's not the only man who I'm dealing with okay and and like it's just an open relationship where we have a a good time and it's no stress it's no arguing it's all fun like okay are there financial benefits yeah of course okay. of course he's married i mean she, he's, she's not gonna get all her bills paid and i'm not getting anything okay that makes absolutely no sense to me okay okay what um what are the disadvantages the disadvantages are sometimes it gets lonely when he has a, a wife i yeah. mean he has to go home i mean he doesn't have to but you know you can't put him in the routine of where he can stay with you because then he's gonna feel like you actually want more than you want so but not everybody messes with married men, though. Okay. Like, I've never messed with a married man. Okay. I, I don't either. Yeah, okay. like, it's certain either. stuff I don't know. Sometimes condone. you don't know that. <laughs> like, nah, you don't, I'm, you're, not, you're not okay with messing nah, with a man. But not, if he's in a relationship. I feel like a relationship is just, it's it's just it's a name. Married. Like, yeah. But yeah. when you really, like, vow to, you know, do this and that and... I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm going to let y'all have it. And sometimes okay. you don't even know that you are a side chick. There's a lot of people who think that, you know, mm -hmm. that there's those type of situations, yeah. too, and you don't know. Right. You know, you think you might be the only one, and you're not. So, okay. you're a side chick. It's always two sides to a story. Yeah. yeah. And usually, the guy is usually telling, you know, each female what you want to hear. Like, okay, I'm going to tell you this because I know we're going to be able to move like this. I'm going to tell you that because I can move like this, you know? Right. Yeah. Is Charlotte big where you can, like, move and people not? Because right. no. in my mind, it's not. No. 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 Okay. 
Maybe I'll find out. Okay. Uh, I think yeah. sure. I mean, I, I, not like um, it might not like big like LA. I feel like where you can maneuver and people you might not bump into them, but I feel like yeah, Charlotte is the place. It's not like in Atlanta. Okay. Like Atlanta, I feel like you can move a little bit more. It is a little bit smaller. So I mean, a lot of us didn't know. Before we even know who they picked the cast, some of us we already know each other. Yeah, like we've already yeah. Did like any of you um, mess with the same guy mm -hmm. before? Yeah, yeah. Or you gotta stay tuned. Yeah, okay, you okay. Stay tuned. What um has have any of you been in situations where you were cool initially being the side chick and then you were like, I really kind of want to be more than that. <laughs> I think we all kind of. I think that. that is the that's my disadvantage sometimes. Okay. I can't speak for everybody, but. Like, it's not easy to not have feelings for somebody, you know what I mean? Right. Like, they come. They do yeah. come. So, so, initially, it starts off like, oh, this is just what it is, and then they come. I mean, is that's that what it always is. Okay. But at the end of the day, you can't really <laughs> control your feelings when you, you know, meet somebody. So, sometimes, feelings do get involved, but I have to step back and look at the bigger picture and realize what it is. Because you can't make yourself not fall in love with somebody, especially if, you know what I mean, they're on point and they doing everything. Mm -hmm. So, that's really the trick to it. Like, you got to know how to pull out of it. Okay. And in this type of relationship, everyone's so upfront from the beginning. Because, right. Yeah. Exactly. Because we are just real with each other. So a lot of the times, mm -hmm. the feelings come because there's an emotional attachment there where we've you're not that way with anyone else. Like a regular boyfriend, you can't express certain right. things that you can with this guy mm -hmm. because he's not going to judge you where your real boyfriend right. or husband would be like, hell no, girl, and you're not. Even doing that or whatever okay so. but you waste so much time in a relationship too when you don't put everything right up front like who got time to take five years back you know what i mean and start over nobody so it's like time wasted so it's best to really put everything out when you first meet somebody that way you know if you want to deal with them or not. In, in terms of um you women all look young um but is in your mind do you have this clock like this time like okay when i turn i don't know 40 i'm gonna <laughs> Not do this. I, mean, no. I used to feel like that, but okay. it's just like sometimes you just get tired of men. Yeah. Crap, Some of us just... have already been in serious relationships and we're done and over right. it. Right. Okay, now. been there, done that. Okay, and not even mm -hmm. that. But every time I think of a man, I think of a B I T C H. Sorry, I don't know if I can curse. You can, not but what, 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 explain. What do you mean by that? Like anytime I think of a man, meet a man, I always think of another bitch. Like there's always another bitch. Yeah. There's okay. always somebody who's going to be fucking with. I don't ever just meet a man and be like, oh, we're gonna get married. He's gonna be my dream guy. Like. Fuck out of yeah, here. because right. even it's, it's guys who... There's always another girl. Right, it's guys who even I don't deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm sure, like, just for our relationships that we've had, I know I could call them like, hey, what's up, come through, and they're going to do it. Have any of you been in a relationship where you were not cheated on that you that you know of? Who's nope. to say? I have. Mm -hmm. I have. 